Best Brother to Win in Solo Showdown Scotch Stone Nita Edition. Let's go. So basically, I'm gonna play three matches and to show you guys different variations of the gameplays and also different choices that you can have in terms of brawler selection. So for the first round, I'm using Nita. I mean, for the all three rounds, I'm gonna be using Nita as well. But um, basically, for Nita, um, you can go and attack other people. But the point is that you need to be careful of your surrounding as well because some of the brawlers definitely is not a friend of Nita such as this brawler in front of us right here not a really good choice of brawlers there we go so try to go for the shot to mid range distance but normally go for the shot one so I've got a kill right there went into the top 5 and basically this is um, quite a solid match I would say and basically for those of you who don't want to use Nita I have another two videos uh, about two different other brawlers which is Shelly and Edgar so if you guys want to check out those brawlers instead you can just go to my YouTube page and search for it I've already uh, categorized different content into a playlist such as Brawl Star content, Clash Royale content, Clash Royale shots etc and you guys can go search for it or just search the keyword that you want so for this map it's Scotch Stone so if you guys just search Scotch Stone that's like around 3 videos including this one would be on my channel by now so Yep, I'm just gonna move towards the center and slowly closing up the distance. So I'm in the top four right now. Gonna go in front. Oh my god. I didn't even see Edgar there. I, I knew there was a brawler there, but I'm not sure if it was that high of a power up. So, um, first round got top four. Quite a good result, I would say. So now into the second round. And for these type of videos, I'm not going to try my best to go into the top 3 or uh, get to the number 1. I mean, that would be great if I can do that, but um, if I can get into the top 5, I'm not going to use any trophies, there would be a better run as well. So a really solid strategy, because you can't win every time and get a lot of trophies every time. So yeah, it's good to have a plan that is solid enough. Okay. Okay, I've got some shots towards, um, what's the name? I'm not, I, I already forgot the name. Towards Shelly? Yes, Shelly. Um, the reason I forgot the name is because, um, he's in his skin. So, one more to top 5 right here. I'm just gonna stay here. I think it's quite a good, good and safe spot right here. I have some shelter to prevent any, um, surprising shots coming my way. I'm just gonna stay in this position. So, and today is the third day of Chinese New Year, so for those of you who are celebrating it, happy Chinese New Year. And, yep, I've managed to record a second video outstation, so, yep, I'm in the top 5 right now. And I'm just gonna wait till if I can get into the top 4, or even the top 3 by keeping it this way. So top 4 right here, hopefully I can get into the top 3. Um, once BB kill another brawler, there we go. So I'm in the top 3 right now without doing anything, so... Um, for those of you uh, who wonder what this strategy is, it's basically camping and being a camper sometimes is frustrating as you can't really have much action going on but then it would boost you up the ranks if you're trying to do that so it depends on which playstyle you want so if you guys want a more aggressive playstyle after the Edgar version on my channel so you guys can go look for it there Okay, I'm in the top two. oh my god um, I'm just gonna suicide I'm, I'm just gonna go to the poison zone Because I know I'm gonna be dead with just one power up But I've managed to go into the top one which is surprisingly good So um, I've got 8 trophies right here So final round to go I might even get um, a higher rank in front of you guys in this video So final round, let's go So Okay, what I'm gonna do here is to go near. Gonna dodge that brawler. Gonna just hide here first. Okay. Eight more brawlers. Three more to go.
Oh my god, there's a power up. Six, now seven, Edgar. Here, so. Oh my god, I think I'm in the top 6. Yeah, I think I'm in the top 6, but it's still fine right here. A little mistake right there as I'm cramping myself um, in the corner. So it's not really good strategy, so that would be a bad example to follow, but it's also good for you guys to learn through my mistakes, so you guys don't do the same thing that I'm doing. So I've got the power-up right here, the first power-up. Okay, Mortis got the first kill, and I think that's Jesse. I'm not sure what the name is. Cause I only remember the names of the brawlers that are used frequently, so 8 brawlers, 3 more to go into the top 5. But I've got power up 2 right here, which is quite good, so I'm just gonna do this. Okay, I've killed the brawler right there gonna get this power up right here so now I'm in the strongest side of the spectrum so I'm just gonna do this okay that's a brawler right there oh my god oh my god I've been a little bit too greedy to get the power up right there but it's still fine at least I'm up the ranks right here plus four trophies and overall it's a positive turn upward in the trophy road so basically this will be the video guys comment down below what are the other brawlers you are using in solo showdown Scotchstone and also subscribe for similar content like this and I'm gonna see you guys in my next video peace out